Okay, let's talk about creating an animation and the kinds of settings that you want to use inside of Cloud Compare. Now, um, I'm just going to walk through this quickly and then we'll actually go in and we'll do one and uh, we're using some kind of a model. Okay. Um, but the first thing you need to do is create a viewpoint. So basically what that means is it's a camera position and what it does is it locks the camera position and the field of view and then you move to another position and you capture another viewpoint, move to another position, capture another viewpoint. And basically what it does is it interpolates the position uh, in between the camera positions. So that's going to be useful and that's going to be helpful and I'll demonstrate that in just a little bit. Now there's some other things that you can do. So for example, there's super resolution or super sampling down here. Basically it creates a really big image, like larger than the monitor, and then it shrinks it back down. Here's another tip slow down the animation. A lot of people will do animations and they're moving really, really, really quick. And when you do that, when you're turning corners or you're moving around, it's just very disorienting. And for people that are watching it, it's not a good thing. Okay. So, uh, often add a bit more time to the animation. If it's an extra 10, 15, 20 seconds, it may make all the difference uh, in the world. Another feature here is going to be called smoothing or your camera path smoothing. So it has to do with the way that it interpolates from one position to the next. Okay. So, um, if I have a, uh, like a position going around a corner, so I start at one point, then I have another uh, key point or viewpoint at the corner, and then I go to a, a final position. Well, it has to do with how sharp it's going to go around that particular corner. Okay. And sharp or abrupt movements are not really all that helpful or not all that great when dealing with animation animation. So you typically want to smooth it out a little bit. And that's what some of the options are here. Frame rate that's down here. I'll also talk about the uh, bit rate as well. Okay. So let's jump back into cloud compare and I'm going to go through some of this with you. Okay. So I've got my cube here again, and I'm going to just use this uh, for one of the examples here, but let's say for example, I start on this particular corner and I want to create a viewpoint or a key point. The shortcut is going to be control V. So I'm just hitting control V and you'll see that I have a, it calls it viewport. Okay. Or key point or whatever. And, and it's over here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this other corner like this, right about there. And I'm going to create another one uh, by hitting control V. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a top down view like this. Okay. So I want to see it something like that. And I'm going to hit control V again. So basically what I have is I've got a view that's from this edge. Then I move from this edge and then I go up here. Okay. Now to start the um, animation plugin, you basically need these viewpoints first, and I'm going to select them all to tell it that these are all the viewpoints I'm going to be using. So the first one, and then the third one, and then you'll see here, I've got this little, I think it's called a clapboard. Uh, people that are in the film industry might know more than me. So I'm going to click on this and this is the plugin window, and this is what we're going to be using. So I'm going to try to tuck this down here so I can see the animation a bit. And starting from here, you'll see that the total duration of the animation is 20 seconds. Uh, I can turn this down to like 15, just 10 seconds to make the example for now. And I want to talk to you about the smoothing, okay? Or like smoothing between key points. And that's what I was talking about before. So if I just do a preview of this, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go preview. You'll see that it's going around and now it's going to go to this edge and then it's going to move up. So it's there and you see there's a nice little smooth transition, a little bit of an ab abruptness there. Okay. So if I turn this up just a little bit more, so let me go to like point, well, let me try point four. Let's see what that does and notice the difference here. So I'm going to go to preview. So it's going to here and it should gradually start moving up a bit now too. So, okay. Not too abrupt, a little bit smooth too. Okay. So that's there. Now, if I shut this off completely, okay, smoothing trajectory, and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to preview this. I've made a big turn between the second point and the top, but watch what happens here. Bang, a very, very abrupt turn. Okay. There's no smoothing at all. And so, um, those kinds of abrupt turns are not really the greatest. Okay. When you're trying to do this. So I'm going to keep this smoothing on and I'll even go back to point two. I'm not going to do too much here or, uh, uh, make some big changes, but that smoothing, uh, here when we're doing point clouds or we're doing different types of models, um, keep the smooth trajectory on. That's, that's really, really helpful.